This looks interesting. Monkey wrench and country clown. Lake of Thanks, the Ozarks, Dung. the setting of the hit Netflix series, Ozark. We have traveled to Osage Beach, Missouri, where the beautiful inn at Grand Glaze Resort will host the 2022 Slap Fight Summer Smash. Fighters from all over the country will descend on this lake to test themselves at the barrel, and we have invited 200 lucky fans to witness the spectacle. This is our first public event since 2018, and what an incredible night we have planned. The fans have been enjoying their time at this breathtaking resort, rubbing elbows with their favorite slap fighters, and experiencing all that the Lake of the Ozarks has to offer. But now it's time to fight. The fans are ready. The fighters are ready. All we need is you. It's the Slap Fight Summer Smash. The fans here at Lake of the Ozarks are I'm pretty sure he started this the exact same way last time they were here. And we are now just moments away. Hello, fight fans. My name is JT Tilly, and I have just spent an incredible weekend here with 200 rowdy fans from all. Yeah, the Evil West is probably States. playable now, but they I'm not playing it tonight. Here to witness our first public event since 2019, and let's not keep them waiting. We begin the summer smash with our 2020. Oh, we watched this one. Guns tournament featuring four and it had the same intro. Hoping to make a name for themselves here at Slap Fight. Thanks for some big oil, big oil. In our first tournament quarterfinal matchup, we'll see a battle between two Tennessee natives. My Man, this he kind of looks like Sweet Tooth from uh, Twisted Metal. He's got kind of the uh, like the sweeps going back. Pennywise esque even. Monkey Wrench versus the Country Clown. Last night at the Slap Fight weigh-ins, Monkey Wrench tipped the scales at 199 pounds. His opponent, the Country Clown, also 199 pounds. Monkey Wrench versus the Country Clown. The first matchup in the 2022 Young Guns Tournament. He looks nothing like them. What are you talking about? His whole persona is a clown. This absolutely looks like Pennywise or Sweet Tooth. Unless I'm misremembering Sweet Tooth. Where's the old PS1 Sweet Tooth? Because obviously the flaming hair one he doesn't really look like. Yeah, here, this one. His old design. Also, rest in peace, uh, Twisted Metal. The last game they made was such a stinker it killed the whole franchise, the PlayStation 3 one. We're getting a good look in the eyes of Monkey Wrench. He doesn't speak much, but let me tell you, this guy is intense, and he is definitely here to fight. We. I'm pretty sure Monkey Wrench wins this. Monkey Wrench just seems too calm, too stoic. He wins. Here to make a name for himself tonight in the Young Guns tournament. God damn it! I gotta pee. I was gonna try and hold it, but there's no shot. Oh, I gotta pee real quick. Give me one sec. Thank you, Risa Duplish. This evening. In Presidio. And there's the first contestant in tonight's Young Guns Tournament. Nice. And there's your second competitor in the Young Guns Tournament, the Country Clown, also from the state of Tennessee. And let me tell you, the Country Clown is definitely not short on personality. I thought it was just going to be is not short in general. 
everybody laugh. The crowd loves the country clown, but don't get it twisted. This guy is a competitor, and he knows absolutely what he's gotten himself into. Now, as the country clown approaches the platform, I can tell you that last night at the weigh-ins, it was Brian Jolly. discovered that the country clown and monkey wrench live in the same city, only a few miles away from each other. So they have oh, that's traveled cute. across the country to fight a guy that lives in their hometown. <laughs> they could have just done it from home, man. Yeah. That's cute. Fighter, Kyron Bowen, and he has a quick rules meeting with our competitors, and then we'll have a coin toss. So let's listen in. Heads it in. And monkey. This is just a little statistical PSA for all of you. In a coin flip situation, you always go heads. I have legitimately never seen it be tails in any meaningful sporting setting ever. I've just literally never seen it go tails. Fucking ever. There's no reason for it. There's no basis for why that's the case. But I've just like never seen it go tails. Monkey Wrench wins the coin toss. He will slap first. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes Thanks, with a open Billy. hand. The, the heel of the hand Craig. may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. All right, here we are back at the barrel with round one of our first tournament quarterfinal. On your right, we have Monkey Wrench, and on your left, the Country Clown. All right, Monkey Wrench. <coughs> Monkey Wrench won the coin toss. He'll have the first slap here, checking his placement. Oh, Just hey, like that was pretty good. Young Guns tournament is underway. Wow, that instantly made his face red. Holy shit. That was a good slap. Not bad for his first throw. Underway. No, it really wasn't bad. That was solid. But he did answer a few questions for us there. He absolutely ate that shot and has already stepped back to the barrel. And let's see what he can dish out here. Bottom of round one. I imagine there's going to be a huge stretch. Checking his placement. Oh, wow. Not at all. What the up. fuck? Oh. Why? Why? Why get him with the sprinkler? Not a great you need a good extension. Got to get low. Effort, but it didn't look like he had enough extension there. Needs exactly. a little bit more rotation. Hopefully that'll improve as the match continues. Going into round two here with Monkey Wrench, his second slap. Monkey Wrench, a southpaw. Thanks the resub buster. Here's your windup. Oh, and another oh. <laughs> big shot from Monkey Wrench. That one wasn't as good. He slapped him and then like felt bad about it. But not enough to cause a he didn't follow through. That one was a goofy little slap. And here we are with round two. Oh, God. Three, winding up. Three. Not a great slap. Also, it looked like we might have had a step here. Not sure if they're going to call that. Okay, yes, it looks like line line official Q Davidson is going to issue a stepping warning for the country clown. That's just a warning, but if he does step again... During now follow the match, through he here, Monkey Wrench. You have to go through him. Round three. Three. No, he's pulling off now. Slap from Monkey Wrench. Nah. Monkey Wrench isn't even trying. He's just tapping him. What about these two? I don't know these two. As the Aloha Samurai enters the competition area. A Rugrats shirt in the crowd. We will get ready to meet his opponent. Oh, actually, no, wait. We've seen the Aloha Samurai before. 
We have seen him before at the last tournament. We don't know Biscuit, though, I don't think. Oh! That psychopath energy. Biscuit, very popular with the local fans. Damn. My hair's all tangled up back there. He five minutes away from the venue in a town called Fulton, Missouri. That's where he trains with legendary slap fighter Frank the Tank. Oh, okay. I tell a protege. He's a tough, tough kid. He's a mixed martial artist. This is not his first video. <clears throat> this is his first slap fight competition. And he is looking to make a name for himself here tonight at Slap Fight Championship. Lead official Kyron Bowen going over some last minute reminders. And then we'll get to the coin toss and figure out which one of these two heavyweights will slap first. 230 pounds, Biscuit. Aloha Samurai lost last time we saw him, I'm pretty sure. Aloha Samurai. Looks like we've got a little bit of a tape malfunction here with Biscuit. And here we go with the coin toss. Aloha Samurai wins. Heads again. What do you know? It's every fucking time, I'm telling you. In each of our competitors' ears. And we'll get started with round one of this heavyweight battle. Aloha Samurai versus Biscuit. Aloha Samurai checking. Let's see if he's improved at all. Oh, winding up quickly. Oh! <laughs> okay. That was not a good shot at all. It looked like it hit Biscuit in the forehead. Yes. Imagine that won't be a, a Tried to slap the hat off of him. And yes, absolutely. Lead official Kyron Bowen is going to call a warning for clubbing on the I don't know why he tried to speed run that. That was confusing. All right, we're moving into the bottom of round one. Someone cast haste on that Let's man. Get some True. Here. A big swing. And a good connection. That was pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Doesn't look like the Aloha Samurai is going to need the 60 seconds to recover. He's going to step right back to the barrel. Oh, oh no. <laughs> And that was definitely an illegal strike. And it looks like Biscuit may... He's just punching him with his wrist. What, what, like, what is the technique even? 60 seconds to recover. Like, why is he trying to go so fast? Oh, no. Christ. Was definitely an illegal strike. And it looks like Biscuit may be hurt here. Oh, he's just mad. Lead Thanks for some laggy and binks. Penalty here, and it looks like Biscuit may be a little bit disoriented. And in that case, the official policy at Slap Fight Championship is to take a 15-minute recovery break. Biscuit will talk to the medical team. He'll have 15 minutes to recover, and we will return in 15 minutes and pick up this fight at the bottom of round two. We're gonna send these. Yeah, he's already got a black eye developing. He like hit him with like a weird judo chop. Like that wasn't even close to a slap. He's gonna step right back to the barrel. Oh, I mean, I guess kind of a slap, but he hits him with his uh, wrist first before getting into the slap. Oh no! And that was definitely an illegal strike. And it looks samurai versus biscuit. Earlier tonight, we started this fight, but it was abruptly stopped. In the second round, when the Prime Samurai Bracey. brutally clubbed Biscuit in the eye. We took a short break, and Biscuit has been cleared by the medical team. We will now be picking up this fight Thanks at Prime the bottom Smugs. of round two. Oh, this poor eye. The bottom of round two, Biscuit will have the first slap. And here we go. Biscuit is so mad. Lead official Kyron Bowen is giving these guys a little pep talk and letting them know to keep it clean. Maybe ask Aloha Samurai to slow down the pacing. Biscuit is up. We're at the bottom of round two. 
He's filling his super meter. Not a bad slap by Biscuit. Not a very strong slap though. Top around three with the Aloha Samurai. Oh god. That was a good slap. That was clean. Slap. Yeah, that one was clean. Biscuit has 60 seconds to recover. It looks like he's not going to need it. Thanks a tier one gag in the gift sub smugs. He, another fundamental slap. Biscuit's just not putting any like meat into it. There's no elbow grease there. Here we are in round four, Aloha Samurai. Oh, <laughs> no, and another club from Aloha Samurai. He's really trying to take that eye out. Okay, they're gonna call this a penalty, and that means that the Aloha Samurai will now lose his fifth round slap. That means Biscuit will now have his fourth and fifth round slap in a row. Two in a row. Alright, hopefully Biscuit, he can make the double dip really count. Turn the tide of the slap fight. Uh, yuck. Come on, Biscuit. Oh, that was better. That was better. He's just not following through. We are now rolling into round six. Oh, <laughs> Aloha Samurai with a big shot to the dome. <laughs> Why is he hitting so high? Oh, no. Like, Biscuit is... Biscuit's throwing like slow motion slaps and Aloha's throwing like two times speed. Like together they form one normal speed slap. Biscuit needs to increase the speed. Aloha needs to dial back the velocity because he is way off target and Biscuit's throwing little love taps. Okay, we've got a violation here. Okay, the officials are going to call this violation. <clears throat> yes, Biscuit slapped on two. You cannot slap on two at Slap Fight Championship. You must count to three with your slaps. Biscuit will now lose a turn. He will lose his round seven turn. He might also lose vision in that left eye if Aloha keeps slapping up there. Because of the noise in the room or if Biscuit just lost count. But he has now lost a turn. He will have no round seven turn. Oh, and the Aloha Samurai staggers him at the beginning of round seven. That hat is also just not conducive oh, no. to this sport. <laughs> it, it just keeps flopping everywhere. Okay, the officials have called another clubbing penalty on Aloha Samurai. That means the Aloha Samurai will now lose his round eight slap. This is a, this is a messy one. Biscuit has already lost his round seven slap. That means Biscuit will be picking up this fight at the bottom of the eighth round. Thanks for the resub, UU. Unbelievable. Bottom of the eighth. Biscuit with the wind up. And another great slap. He's just not putting enough power I don't know behind it. has enough power to knock the Aloha yeah. Samurai out, but he is definitely landing more clean slaps. All right, here we are at the top right. of the ninth round. One, two, three. Oh, oh slap to the top of the head. He glancing blow. That slap altogether. Yeah, he slid that one right off the forehead. Be a violation there, just a wasted slap. Now the has an opportunity to steal here, bottom of the ninth. Oh, another good shot from Biscuit. No break for the samurai. Oh, god damn. Oh, and another good shot from the samurai. The samurai's landed so many like dirty shots, the but match. the more powerful clean ones. Biscuit's just not landing anything big. Here. here we go. Winding up. And another clean shot for Biscuit. Like he's gentlemen, this like these shots are like pushing his cheek. He's not even slapping him. The second he makes combat, he's just like con contact. He just starts to like 
pushing the cheek gently. He's not like slapping through. And another clean shot for Biscuit. And ladies and gentlemen, this fight is in the books. Uh, uh, Ten uh, rounds between Biscuit and the Aloha Samurai. And we will sub now go gnarl. to the judges' scorecards for decision. It's going to be close, though, because Samurai had so many uh, penalties. Thanks to Prime Faux Show. Yeah, I don't know who it's going to be. It's going to be tough. Oh, yes, sir. He played a very clean, fundamental game, and it paid off. <laughs> Jesus, his eye got fucked up. Got punched in the eye like five times. Yep. And he came out a champion. You saw, did you see Wolverine vs. White Simba? I don't remember. Did we watch that on stream? I don't think so. Did we? No. Wait, we did. We did. We did. We did. We did. Wolverine fucked him. Yeah, you're right. We did. first. Here, I'll, I'll let the first slap play and you'll see how it goes. Number one, can Wolverine take one of these powerful, unorthodox slaps from White Simba? We're about to find out. Oh, a big slap from White It really is a cool slap technique. And stays in the pocket. No break necessary for Wolverine. He's going to return fire here. Wolverine using his original technique. Oh no. That was a big flinch at the last second. White Simba moves out of the way. Wolverine almost blew his knee out and he looks pissed. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. I forgot about that. Wolverine show any form of emotion, but you can see on his face now, he suspects that that flinch was on purpose. And now we're headed into the top of round two, and White Simba is <coughs> receiving another slap. Wolverine is yet to look White Simba in the eyes. There was killing intent in that slap. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. We have watched this before. I'm just going to let a couple here. ride real quick. We're in the top of round two. Simba staring bullets through Ron. Ron maintaining his composure, waiting for the next slap. One, Here it comes. Two, three, oh, a big shot from White Simba, and again Wolverine eats it. He looks menacing. No yeah, he is. He's a scary guy. All right, bottom of round two. Wolverine's going to check his placement here. Here's the wind-up. Oh, yeah. White Simba goes down in round two. Wolverine stiffens him up. And look at the face of Wolverine. He is not surprised in the least. White Simba stumbles back to the barrel, almost falls on his face. He has 60 seconds to recover. If he can recover in 60 seconds, he can continue the match. Otherwise, Wolverine will have TKO'd White Simba. With I mean, it's just Wolverine for you. Now, we've seen White Simba take big shots before and recover, so I would expect that he will return to the barrel. But it is very clear that his Thanks bell is prime wrong. Kuro. White Simba has never been hit this hard in his life. Wolverine patiently waiting to be slapped again. <laughs> I 
He passed the concussion test. He's perfect. He's back to 100%. Again, here we are at the top of round three. At this point in the match, White Simba has landed two slaps. Wolverine has landed one. Gently caressing Wolverine's face. And here we go. Two, three, oh! A big club from White Simba. Yeah, he threw off his targeting with that last slap. You can see it all over his face. Reset the parameters. He has now taken a, a nasty club to the neck, and already there's some bruising on the left side of his neck. <laughs> yeah. Ready to slap. Let's go. I think Simba already knows. One, two, Don't blink. Oh! White Simba goes down again. <laughs> His quarter man catches him, but he yeah. goes up and goes all the way down to the mat. Wolverine's <laughs> wondering if this fight is over. But White Simba. Oh, he's back. good. He's back to 100% already. A little bit confused here. It was just some theatrics. Wolverine looking at the judges to see if this fight's going to be called. White Simba looks a little disoriented. We have seen he used the health potion like before. Yeah, no, he's been, he's good now. These shots are a little harder than what he's experienced in the Redemption tournament. <clears throat> White Simba's having a quick conversation with the lead official, Kyron Bowen. Wolverine's making eye contact with the officials. I think this fight might be over, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. That's it. White Simba loses by verbal submission. And God damn. Wolverine's just too strong. He's too strong. And what's crazy is he's not even number one. Darius the Destroyer is still number one.